Alola YouTube, Gabe here back at it again with more uh, solitaire deck profiles. I rebuilt NLK because we got the premium collection and the set's hysterical. Uh, the starter is Enigmatic Assassin because we only have one now and you don't want to risk it going to damage. You still have Roth then, so it'd be fine, but like you need to guarantee it being in the soul. And you don't want to deal with, like, not get, having to get it there if it doesn't start there. And, like, the single draw from Vermilion Gatekeeper really isn't enough to, like, matter. Especially because of how much mileage you get out of her with NLK. Uh, next, four copies of NLK. Um, it's the centerpiece of the deck. It's what makes Castile really good. It's, a uh, because of Enigmatic Assassin, you get two to three Vanguard attacks a turn all with tr twin, one with triple drive, and all big numbers, and some with crits. So, it's a really good card. And it's not good in standard, because they didn't want to give it support to make it broken. But in premium, it's really fucking good. Uh, next, we're running two copies of uh, Master of Filth Element. So, on attack, if you have 15 or more in soul, discard everything, soul blast everything, stand all of your dudes... You use this after you use NLK skill, so you have Protect 2s to make this column bigger. You call Enigmatic out after you attack, put it in with Vanguard, so you still get 3 attacks. And Moth is going to have a crit because it's being ridden from Death Anchor, so it makes for a really good finisher, and if you have Doreen columns set up, it gets really stupid. Still running two copies of Bladewing Sullivan because I like not decking out, and if you're playing against a deck that has defensive G guards, you do really don't want to go um, full combo because if they retire your shit, you get kind of screwed over. Having Blade Wings is cool, and having the shield is cool, so I like running it at two. That's all you need because I like having more cards of other grades. Four copies of Blood Sacrifice Ruthven, really good utility. On place, take a card from rear. Take a card from damage or drop. Put it into soul. If you chose from damage, put the top card of your deck in damage face down. And if you put Vrokolakis in, you counter charge one. Uh, it lets you just re add anything to your soul. It's really cool with things like Enigmatic if it gets retired. Um, Dimension Creeper just to reuse its skill. Yeah, it's still really good PT utility. Next, four copies of Decadent Succubus, a $6 common from the original set three almost seven years ago. Um, on Van, whenever you call a rearguard soul charge, you copy its skill with New Gastille. So you have a Vanguard that's grade four, so you just call a bunch of things and soul charge a bunch. I'm probably going to test out the, like, the Legion dude that lets you soul blast one to charge five just to have more grade two space, but Decadent's been working out pretty good. And yeah... It make, it's really funny with the Monochrome and Nightmare Land, because that's basically just Soul Charge 3, because of her skill, Monochrome skill, and you just call the card you draw with Monochrome. Then, two copies of Heat Element Bobo. Um, this deck can easily afford to play it, because you, A, have a lot of room, because honestly, your main combo just is just having an LK and killing with that, so, like, you're good. But also... People damage deny this because they don't want to deal with NLK. So being able to reuse a counter blast, get another one, and also the soul charge is actually really cool. Like if you're on, on Gastille with Decadent and you call Bobo, you soul charge two, counter charge one, and get a damage. So it's basically just soul charge two, counter charge two, which is really sick for this deck. Then we're still running four copies of Wear Tiger Jaeger because the draw really comes in handy. And we don't run a whole lot of darknesses, but honestly, you still, because of how quickly you finish games, you're honestly fine. Like I've ne like I've had to struggle stride more than normal, but like it really hasn't been an issue. And like because of how much you sh soul charge with decadent and stuff, you easily get uh, darknesses and soul. Like if you soul charge one of these and get enigma and have enigmatic, you're already at uh, the darkness requirement for it to be stride fodder. Next, uh, where is it? We're running four copies of Doreen the Thruster, running four copies of it because it is really dumb with, um, how big its numbers can get with, especially with Decadent. 
I've hit, mo if you have a column of two Doreens, you can get upwards of 150k, and that column will restand with Master of Fifth Element, so two 150 plus k attacks in one battle phase is sick. Next is four copies of uh, Dimension Creeper, the original one, not from V set 4. Because the one from VBTO4 costs a Counter Blast, so you don't want that. And this is just Soul Blast itself to charge 2. Also, the one from set 4 goes back into the deck. While this one goes into drops, you can Blast itself to charge 2. Call Ruthven to put this from drop back into deck, Blast it to charge 2 more. And if you're on the Decadent Gasteel, that's going to be 1, 2, Ruthven 3, Ruthven Skill 4, 5, 6, so that's just, you Soul Charge 6, so Doreen's at plus 30k from that combo alone. Next, 3 copies of uh, Prisoner Beast. Running 3 because it's an on-place Soul Charge with Decadence and on-place Soul Charge 2, which is pretty neat. Yeah. That's pretty much it. It's simple, not many other grade ones I felt like running. Uh, trigger lineup is obvious. Four draw PGs because you want grade one space and you're going to run probably want to run draws anyways. PGs uh, are cool. PGs are cool. Uh, four stand triggers because Monochrome of Nightmareland is just a really good card. Four V heals because, 20K sh um, because 10k triggers are cool and healing is cool. And four of the premium collection crit because... Crits with skills. Crits with skills, crit triggers with 10k and 15 shield. And because you can't abuse a lot of enigmatics, you really don't want to run a lot of stands. Uh, yeah. I've been thinking about going um, 6 stands, 6 crit, and 4 grade 1 PGs. But honestly, this deck has been working out fine. Hasn't been much of an issue. On to the G-Zone. Uh, two copies of the big bad boy himself, uh, Evil God Pontiff Castile Diamondess. Uh, auto, whenever you soul charge, uh, your front row at the mo at that moment gets 3k, so it basically gives all your cards in the front row Doreen skill, which is sick. But also, once per turn, counterblast, one flip anything, take two cards from deck, shove them to the soul, and it gets their abilities. So you use this, you copy NLK and deck it to get NLK on as your first stride skill. Uh, easy. Really good card. Two copies of Wings of uh, Annihilation, Bladewing Tibbled, because you're still running Bladewing and resetting your deck is really cool after you have a bunch of triggers and drop. Two copies of Blader Mouse, because also helps you reset your deck if you charged a bunch of triggers and restanding your Vanguard is cool. Uh, two copies of Balam, because Balam is still a good card. Don't really feel like running it up more, though. Um, the... GB3, if you have 13 or so, is fun with Enigmatic because you get four attacks with uh, no grade one guards, which is neat. Two copies of Abominable and Ajildrai because it's free and it's come in handy. It's mostly flip fodder, if I'm being honest, but it's actually come in handy surprisingly in a decent amounts. Uh, one copy of uh, Progenitor Dragon Formido. Uh, Progenitors are good, it takes up one slot. Uh, on ride counter blast on stride counter blast one for each of your empty circles your opponent retires one if you retire uh, three or more draw one charge five um, it's good it's a pretty good card uh, if you're playing against an excel deck well not if you're playing against an excel deck but if you're playing against because this deck doesn't do much until you get to the grade three so if you're playing a slow game and then your opponent fills their board you just nuke a bunch of stuff which is really cool one copy of um, one steeped and since shot wrote because uh, dust is bad now because uh, higher shields and new guardian rules. So I don't like dust. And also this deck doesn't multi-attack enough to abuse dust, so not really worth IMO. Also, it's still kind of expensive and it, it's not worth the price it's at. Uh, one copy of Vincent, G-Flip, G-Guard. It becomes really big with this deck because your soul gets massive after your NLK turn if you don't go into Moth. Uh, a Grat Bat Malat, charge two. Uh, Saint Germain, it's a 25k G-Guard that's 35 under Tibbled. And this is just G-Flip, G-Guard, uh, G-Flip fodder for um, Vincent because you never use its skill. Uh, yeah, that's the deck. We hit the 10-minute ad revenue. Uh...
Thanks for watching. It's going to be up in game. So like, comment, and subscribe.